Hello, and thank you for joining me for this webinar on Deep Learning in MATLAB for Object Recognition. My name is Daniel Winter, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Optimum Solutions. During this short webinar, we are going to take a look at some of the capabilities in MATLAB in the field of object recognition and classification using deep neural networks. Deep learning is a machine learning technique that teaches computers to do what comes naturally to humans, learning by example. This is a key technology behind driverless cars, enabling them to recognize a stop sign or to distinguish a pedestrian walking across a street. It is the key to voice control in consumer devices like phones, tablets, TVs, and hands-free speakers. Deep learning is getting lots of attention lately for achieving results that were not possible before. In deep learning, a computer model learns to perform classification tasks directly from images, text, or sound. Deep learning models can achieve state-of-the-art accuracy, sometimes exceeding human-level performance. Models are trained by using a large set of labeled data and neural network architectures that contain many layers. So how can you do deep learning in MATLAB? And what is possible? You can create and train feed-forward, recurrent, time series, and convolutional neural networks. You can use CUDA-capable NVIDIA GPUs to reduce your training time with parallel computing. You can extract and visualize features from pre-trained networks, import models from CAFE, and perform transfer learning with a variety of pre-trained models such as AlexNet, VGG, and GoogleNet. For object recognition and classification, we are going to show a generic workflow for deep learning. The first stage is accessing your data. In this case, we're going to import an image data set. Next, we explore and develop using this data set. So we're going to do some processing on those images, possibly change the size of the images, changing um, their color scale. Then we want to partition our data into test and training sets. And after that, we want to design and train a neural network. After we've got this neural network architecture, what we want to do is evaluate and test this architecture on new data. So this is where we would do the classification by importing a new image. In this webinar, we're going to look at an example using a convolutional neural network. And in fact, for our particular example, what we're going to do is use a pre-trained model. So what is a convolutional neural network? Convolutional neural networks, or CNNs, are composed of several interconnected hidden layers which process and transform inputs to outputs. They are inspired from the biological structure of the visual cortex. Convolution layers perform mathematical convolution of different filters over each input image. Different filters will emphasize different features in an image. For example, one filter may activate on a color channel, while another may activate on edges in the image. ReLU layers account for non-linearity in the model. ReLU stands for rectified linear units, and these are activation functions applied to introduce the non-linearity. Pooling layers downsample the data between layers to reduce the number of inputs to the next layer. This is so that we can perform a single classification as the final output of the network using a fully connected layer. In MATLAB, we're going to show an example of how you can do deep learning in just 10 lines of MATLAB code. What we're going to do here is create a webcam object to read in images import AlexNet as a pre-trained network, take snapshots of images using the webcam, resize those images so that we can feed them into AlexNet, perform the classification, and then label the images in the video. This is what that code looks like. So here we're just using a while loop to read in images into our camera and classify them as um, our image changes. Modifying this a little bit, 
what we have is this classifier where we are actually finding the prediction accuracy or percentage for each image and labeling the different items or objects in our video as we go along. AlexNet has a broad range of different objects which you can classify. These are normally everyday objects, but also some unusual things like chainmail. Thank you for watching this webinar. In order to find out more, you can visit the MathWorks website at www.mathworks.com to find more examples and demonstrations as well as documentation on how you can use these different features. You can also visit our Optinum website at www.optinum.co.za and see what we have to offer in terms of products and services. You can also request a trial from us in order to test out these tools yourself.